The pigs are mangalitsa, or we call them woolly pigs, uh, because of their appearance. They have a really thick, curly coat of uh, hair, kind of like a sheep. If you were to see them at a distance, you might actually mistake them for a sheep. So um, they're derived from Eastern Europe. We imported our pigs to Auburn from um, a producer in Austria. It's amazing how fat these animals can get compared to our traditional or improved breeds that we are used to. Through collaboration with uh, Dr. Amin um, in the uh, Harrison School of Pharmacy, we're doing uh, MRI studies on the pigs. And basically, we're imaging these animals as they grow older. We're convinced we have a faithful model of obesity-induced metabolic syndrome in the diabetic heart. So um, this is great because now we can test potential intervention therapies. So we can, uh, through our imaging studies, see the progression of um, obesity-related problems, and we can test how modifying the diet with increased conjugate linoleic acids, for instance, might prevent this progression. Or in the case of Dr. Amin's lab, he does a lot of work developing novel new uh, anti-diabetic drugs. We can test their efficacy or, or their, their effectiveness in our pig model now that we've established a good relationship between obesity and diabetes. There's actually a lot of similarities between the pig and a human. Our digestive systems are very similar. Um, our blood glucose levels are very similar. The way they're regulated are very similar. Um, body size to organ ratio is nearly identical with humans. And there's a huge body of literature um, relating to the pig heart as a model for the human heart.